Today I would like to discuss the two types of methods or machine setups which are used in VAT polymerization. Before moving any further, I would highly recommend you to watch my video on VAT polymerization. I would put the video number somewhere here on the screen. Now the two types of machine setups which are used in VAT polymerization are first one is surface or top down method and the second one is bottom up method. Now this is a diagram for surface or top down method. Uh, I would quickly go through all the components present herein. As you can see that uh, this is the laser beam source. This is the deflecting mirror. The green portion here represents the build platform. The brown portion is uh, the first layer of cured resin. Above that we have this uh, liquid resin which is yet to be cured. Uh, this, uh, this is the vat and uh, there is uncured resin which is filled or the liquid resin filled into this vat. If you remember from a video of vat polymerization, the exact definition of vat is that it is a large tank or a tub which is used to hold some form of a liquid and is especially used in industries. Now the reason why is it called as top down method is that at the beginning of the process the build platform is at the top or at the topmost surface and after formation of each layer the build platform moves downwards. As you can see that this is it is represented by this arrow the build platform moves down or downwards after formation of each layer and that is why it is known as top down method. Now this is a diagram for bottom up method. You can see that the components are almost the same only the setup is slightly different. Uh, you can see here again that uh, we have this laser beam source. Uh, this is the deflecting mirror. Here we have the green portion which is the build platform. This is the vat and this vat has uh, uncured resin. This is the first layer of cured resin, this brown thing. And you can see that the vat is transparent at the bottom. Now this transparent bottom surface has a silicon coating which allows the laser beam to pass through it but prevents the component from sticking to it. Uh, it does not prevent it completely but it kind of minimizes it. Also uh, one other major difference is that in uh, case of bottom up method the laser beam source is placed at the bottom of the tank or the, at the bottom of the vat whereas in a uh, top down method the laser beam source was above the tank. Now again the reason why it is called as bottom up method is because the at the beginning of the process the build platform is at the bottom of the tank and after formation of each layer the build platform moves upwards as uh, indicated by this arrow so it is known as bottom up method. Each and every method has its own pros and cons. For example, in surface or top down method, we need a very large vat or tank because the, com because the component must be completely immersed. Now in case of bottom up method, the component has to be detached from the bottom of the tank after formation of each layer. Uh, as I explained that we have a silicon coating here which prevents the component from sticking to it but it does not prevent it completely. And also you cannot detach the component abruptly because it might damage the component surface. So, so you have to do it slowly which uh, actually affects the productivity of this process and makes it comparatively slower. One extra piece of information which I would like to share here is that the bottom up method is used for small desktop printers whereas the top down approach or top down method is used for industrial environments. So that was it. I hope that you got some value out of this video. See you in the next one. Bye.